Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Testaholic Room 1. I got a request to play this. Hey LB, I didn't even realize that you play Workshop Portal 2 maps too. I sure am oblivious. Well anyways, as you saw, my other maps sucked. A lot. So I have created a new map, as you may have seen in Vintage's comments, that I'd love to see you play too. This one is actually good and uses zero aerial faceplates. Remember to read the description, though. It's important, because you may feel stuck at a certain point. Anyways, good luck, and don't make lemonade. Alright, let's read the description. Important bugs. The door at the beginning is nothing. Don't mind it. And do I need to read the strike through once as well? Probably not. There has been another solution found to make something in strike through ir irrelevant. Alright. This map took too much trial and error, but hopefully it pays off well in the end. Using an older version of the B2 mod, I have made a simple yet tricky test perfect for anyone who's up for it. Good luck. Special thanks to Vintage for actually playing my other maps and putting up with those monstrosities of difficulty. Hopefully this tricky test replaces those well enough. Alright. Otis Oblicus. I think that's how you say it, right? Yeah. No wait. Otodas Oblicus. Oblicus. I uh, yeah. Something like that. Y'all probably know better than me. Alright, let's get started. As I've, said, as I've said many times, this is personally not my favorite theme out of Bmod's themes, but whatever. So something about a door that we're supposed to ignore, right? That door? I don't think so, right? What kind of fizzler is this? So, this is the kind that we can keep our portals through, but we can't shoot portals through it. Alright. And I'm assuming objects cannot go through it, right? Yep, that's the type of fizzler it is. Allow player passage, but, uh, not objects or portals. Let's see... We got our... old-style sendificator here. Interesting particle effect. We have the laser up there, it seems. Is this a platform? What is this? I think it is a platform. Alright, I see what we're supposed to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. It's strange that there's no music playing right now, I didn't do anything to disable the music. Yeah, so this is a platform, but it just appears to have not exported properly for some reason. Strange. What do these do? Well, there's no signage on this one, but this one looks like it does... that. Uh, where is that? Is this portalable? Holy crap, it is! There needs to be some lighting there. Where is that signage at? I guess I should probably just press it, right? I'm assuming this gets us a cube, right? Yes, it does. Oh, we've got a long strip of portable surface here. I'm guessing maybe for some gel, potentially? I actually don't know why. Alright, well I'm just gonna press the buttons and hope for the best. Oh, I bet one of- I bet the one without signage might go here, or...? Okay, so this one... goes here. Yeah, if you just, uh... If you give- if you give some more space around here, we can see what this does. Then what does this one do? Wait, what? Well, I can't press this button ever again, apparently. But it did something outside. Let's go investigate, I suppose. Is that what it did? Ah, oh, yes, I see the ant line now. Alright, so it did have signage, it was just on the upper- opposite side of the wall. What is up there? I'm not entirely sure. Let us swap these cubes out, because the laser cube is more useful. Put this boring cube in there. Thank you. And then, what do we want to do? Is that a laser receiver? I bet that's what it is. Let's go ahead and investigate that, shall we?
Yeah, it is. But what does it do? Is that one of the exit things? Ah, yes, it looks like it does that right there. Okay, so that's required for the exit. Now what about this last ant line? Oh, we just need to get a cube on this button? Alright. So, theoretically, we just need to use the Scintificator for that, right? You know, technically we could use that cube. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, this is high enough, alright. I see how this is gonna work. Not sure I placed my portals, I didn't really need to. Let's, uh... Let me put this other cube back in. Put this here temporarily. Let me get this guy... And actually I need to put a portal up here. Let's see... Right, I- I messed up by fizzling this thing. I shouldn't have fizzled it. Let's see. Uh... Just do this. I need to switch these again. Do this... And... Do this... Wait, actually, no, I don't need to. What am I talking about? No, no, I don't need to do that at all. Let's, uh... I actually do want this guy to be in here. Put this guy over here. I will get a portal up here. And then we will fizzle this one. Actually, you can just recall it. Yeah, I'll just recall it with the button. That'll work better. Come here. So then... I want to come up here. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you. Save. And then... We'll place our black portal somewhere else. Put this into there. And that should do the trick. Approximately. Yeah. There we go. Now, this cube landed on there. So now, we'll recall the laser cube, and we will reuse it... in here. We'll rise ourselves up, get the laser... and shoot it there. Yep, that opens the door. Not sure what, uh... Door at the beginning is nothing. Not sure what that's talking about. Oh well, we're not supposed to to mind it anyway. <laughs> well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!